Hey guys, it's uh, Taverman3 here, and I'm making this video not for my own YouTube channel, but for some other people's channels, as I want to spread awareness about what is happening on Combat Arms, not just to me, but to two of my close friends and other people in the past, and Europe players as well. It affects a lot of different people. Basically, Nexon, in the, in the last week or so, roughly seven days, Nexon has banned me on my uh, main Combat Arms account, not one time, but twice two times within one week. Basically, I'm gonna get into what happened and why I apparently was banned, how I got unbanned, and why apparently I'm banned again. Okay guys, so this video basically explains what I'm about to say. But the first time I got banned, this is exactly what happened. I finished a clan war game with my boy Itachi, we were in Elite Shots, and straight after the game, uh, the, the whole game, the other clan was interrogating me for some reason, they were like, are you that pro guy, the guy whose IGN was pro, who is my nigga? He got banned, his IGN was pro, P-R-O, and he used the glitch, obviously, to get that name. But he got banned, and the whole game, the other clan was interrogating me, asking me if I was that guy, and calling me the pro guy, who got banned for hacking. And at the start, I was like, nah, that's not me, man, that's, I'm not pro, he's my friend, but I'm not pro. So basically, at this point, I want you to keep in mind that I have mentioned that Pro is my friend. And a GM has seen this, and I'll get into why that's important later. Just remember that a GM knows that I'm friend with this band Cheetah. So, after the, the Clan War game finished, and uh, a GM, I don't remember who, uh, probably Panthero, asked me, So, you admit Pro is your friend? And I said, yeah, sure, he's my friend. I went AFK, came back, connection to the server has ended, and I was banned. So basically, from this, I got banned, well, in my mind, I got banned because I was friends with the cheetah. And obviously, I don't think that's a reason to get banned. So I decided, you know what, I don't want to email Nexon. There's no point, I don't want an automatic reply that is not going to get me anywhere. I want to call Nexon. So I called Nexon. It took me probably 40 different calls to get in contact with Nexon because one of their numbers is disconnected sometimes and I never tried the other one because apparently you need some kind of extension. So I eventually got through to Nexon over four days of trying to call them. And I eventually got put through to someone who knew what they were talking about in customer support. And they don't actually have a customer support section so I got really lucky. So I talked to this guy, and he, I asked, well, hey, I've been banned recently on Combat Arms, I'd like to know why, and do you have any evidence to support why I'm banned? And he said, hold on, I'll look into it. So I was on hold, I actually went to take a shit, but that's irrelevant. He got back to me eventually, and he said, he said that the reason I was banned is because of my affiliation with a known hacker, which is this pro guy that I was talking about. I told everyone that, yeah, I'm his friend, sure. And I was like, okay... How is being affiliated with a cheetah a reason for a ban? And do you even have any proof that I am affiliated with this cheetah? And he told me to hold on again, so I was on hold. Luckily they don't have that annoying music that places such as uh, <coughs> Shandalink have. But yeah, he got back to me and said, Alright, I'll see what I can do. He hung up the phone, I hung up the phone. I went onto the Nexon website, 20 seconds later my account was unbanned. No dishonorable discharge. So at this point I'm unbanned. So, they had no evidence, apparently they banned me for affiliating with a cheater. So they just decided, hey, we have nothing to back this up, I'm gonna unban him. So I was unbanned at this point, and this is what this video is, this is me logging in after getting unbanned. Everyone whispering me and stuff, asking what happened, yep. So this is what happened, the first time I got banned, and at this point I'm unbanned. Okay, so at this point, this is roughly this morning. I had gotten unbanned less than two days from this point when I uh, woke up this morning. It had been somewhere between 40 and 48 hours. I woke up early as shit because I had to get a haircut. Turned on my PC and my Skype was blown up, dude. Had like, uh, sorry, had like 60 notifications. And basically they were all saying, what happened? Why are you banned again? What is Nexon done? What, what is happening? And I thought everyone was, like, playing a joke on me or something, so I was like, yeah, whatever. So I looked at my player profile, and it turns out I actually was banned again. Less than two days after my prior ban, which they said they had no evidence for. So I was like, okay, clearly this is something personal, and I sent, decided to send them an email, because I don't really want to talk to them on the phone if it doesn't keep me unbanned, there's no point. 
So yeah, basically you can read what I sent. Blah blah blah. All I did was play one game, this Lunar Labs map. And yeah, th this this part here is true. Like I just want to bring it to the public eye and help uh, get people I know to upload it. And um, yeah, they banned me for no reason. All I like basically what I enjoy a lot is uploading videos. I don't put ads on my videos. I wouldn't make much money if I did. But either way, I don't put them there. I don't really care. Like, I don't want money from this at the moment, I just want to provide gameplay to myself. <laughs> and, at this point, I was relatively certain it's just someone at Nexon who has something against me, they just don't like me. So I sent this email, I went to get my hair cut, I came home. Then I got another email, this one right here. Uh, hello, I'll block out my name. Thank you for contacting Nexon America Customer Support. I understand that your account was recently banned and you feel it should be released. Your account was originally banned after it was found using a third-party program to gain an advantage over other players. The first uh, sentence in this paragraph is a complete lie. I talked on the phone to someone at Nexon who told me I got banned not for using third-party programs to gain an unfair advantage, for being friends with a known cheater. That's the reason they gave me, and that's the reason I'm unbanned, because I had no evidence to support this, and it's a dumb fucking reason. That's why I was unbanned in the first place, so this first line is a complete lie. I don't know where they're coming up with this, like, they're just making things up at this point. We understand that you believe this is a mistake, obviously, but the account was fully investigated and action was only taken after sufficient evidence was gathered and reviewed. Less than two days ago, they had no evidence of anything, now magically they have all this evidence that I'm using third-party programs to gain an unfair advantage over other players. Like, at this point they're just making up whatever they can to make it sound as legit as possible. And here, this is the part which is true, because this is why they originally banned me. Your account was found to be associated with another account who was known for hacking as well, and was later banned. That's the reason they gave me for my first ban, and the reason I was unbanned was because it's a dumb reason, and they had no evidence of this. So that part is true, but it's still not banned worthy. It's being friends with a cheater. If that was banned worthy, the whole game should be banned, because I'm relatively sure everyone knows a closet cheater who is, like, really good at it. Just due to how many people cheat in this game. Due to the nature of this situation, I am sorry to inform you that I will not be able to release your account. Your account will remain permanently banned. This part is... I, I took this as a threat, like... Uh, at this point, I was like, are they threatening me? Is this like a really subtle threat? Should you continue to use third-party programs, which I'm clearly not using, we will have no choice but to take action on your other accounts as well. So, to me, this part seems like a threat, saying, hey, if you want to continue playing this game, I'm just going to ban all your accounts next time, I want to ban you for no reason. Please understand that all users are required to play by the rules, yeah. And I understand that, obviously. Uh, sincerely, GM Red Roto. Rad Roto is the one who sent this, not Panthero, my number one worst enemy, Rad Roto. So I'm guessing Panthero has talked to him and said, hey, I hate this guy, please make up some reason to ban him. And that's what they did. So basically, this whole paragraph is a complete lie about this third party programs, because I talked to someone at Nexon, that's how I originally got unbanned. They apparently magically found all this evidence of me using third party programs within 48 hours. And, well, yeah, this part about being associated with another account for hacking is the first excuse they gave me, which they had no evidence for. So basically, at this point, in the last week, I have been banned not once, but twice on combat arms for no reason. And this is what I'm trying to bring attention to the public about. Okay, so why am I trying to bring awareness to this problem? And the main reason is, if Nexon bans me, sure, I don't care. I know I don't cheat, I know I'm the best, I know Nexon dislike me, that's fine, whatever. But this doesn't just affect me, it affects other people. Of course, I have also been banned for no reason on my other account, Rax, which I'll show you a picture of right now. But, it's also affected two of my close friends recently, and I want to go in-depth on that. Alright, so these are my two boys who got banned for no reason, they're both really good too. My nigga Itachi, who was actually in the Clan War game where I got banned, well, when I got banned straight after it. And now he's banned too, probably for like, no reason, he's probably because he's my friend, that's actually probably why, because the next one fucking hates me that much, they're gonna ban all my friends. He got banned for no reason, he's probably just as good as me at this game, he's really good. Easily top 5 players in the game. My boy, uh, LOL OK as well, he's really 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 good too, and he, this guy, I'll get into it in a second, but obviously neither of these players cheat, they both have a YouTube. This is Itachi's YouTube, I'm subscribed to him, I have him in my, uh thingy, my uh, 
this thing, sub box thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's really good. He, he has all these sick gameplays, 55-5, 22-2. Yeah, 12 and 1. See, he's really good if you want to check out his videos. He doesn't cheat. He was banned for no reason. Next on strikes again. And my boy Lolo K, who also has a YouTube, and his uh, YouTube is called That's Cool. And he also goes by the name Yeah JK No. And he's been playing this game for a long time. I don't want to reveal anything about who he is because this whole channel is based on being anonymous, I guess, but he's been playing this game for a really long time, and he's really good, especially at Kill Creek and snipers in general. And he is the most frequent CA uploader I've seen in my life. So, one week ago, all right, all these videos that say one week ago were all uploaded within a seven-day period. So during a seven-day period, he uploaded three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-three. He uploaded twenty-six videos in a seven day period, 26 different CA gameplays. He uploads every single CA gameplay he plays, yet he's still banned. And this is what I want to bring attention to. Nexon just bans everyone. They don't even care. They don't give proof. They just say, hey, I hate you. You're banned. Peace, bitch. And it's really unfortunate because I still enjoy playing the game, but if stuff like this continues happening, not just to me, because if I got banned every single day, I wouldn't care as long as no one else had to deal with it too. I know Nexon don't like me for whatever reason, but yeah, like, it's ridiculous. They shouldn't be allowed to get away with this, so if, uh, what I want everyone to do, if you, like, really agree with what I'm saying, upload this to your channel. I don't care if you have one sub, two subs, five subs. Everyone just upload this video and spread awareness about what Nexon staff are doing. If they don't like you, they'll ban you. They don't have to have a valid reason. That's, like, I've never met a company this unprofessional. It's really sad. For such a fun game that stuff like this is happening to it. It's really, really sad. So, um, hope you guys found this video interesting, and if you're a big Nexon supporter, hopefully, uh, this opened your eyes. Nexon aren't really nice. They're fucking scumbags. Alright, peace, boys.